let me just put it out here children should be reading all sorts of books whether it's non-fiction whether it's comics or um, classics or fantasy children should be allowed to read for fun Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Notes and the Bible. If you're new, welcome. And if you're a bookworm or a book lover and you haven't subscribed, I suggest you subscribe to this channel because on this channel, we what, we what, we what, we read, we explore, and we learn. And that's where the books travel and eco-friendly lifestyle tip comes in. So today I have a spread, a lovely spread of books in front of me. Why? Because we're celebrating World Book Day. Yay! So World Book Day is celebrated every year, um, every the first Thursday of March. And um, the theme for this year, 2022, is you are a reader. So I'm going to be talking about books that children or your kids should be reading on World Book Day. As you can see from the background here, I'm at the bookstore, the Bookworm Cafe in Lagos, Nigeria. If you're in Lagos, you can stop by. So, and also where I work too. And we also deal with children's books. And that's why you can see the spread of books right here. So I'm going to be starting off with the first one, which is non-fiction. Kids should be reading non-fiction on World Book Day. That is books that they can learn from. Like this one says, Wild Animals, Knowledge Masters, Wild Animals. Another one is um, Miles Kelly's Why Does Saturn Have Rings? So nonfiction um, is very informative for kids, but at the same time, you have to make it as interesting as possible for them. So like this one has lots of beautiful pictures. If you can see, let me make it for you. It has some really beautiful pictures for kids and it's colorful because the whole idea of um, World Book Day is to ensure that kids um, read for fun. Yes, they're learning, it's going to be entertaining, but it's also going to be what? It's going to be fun. Another um, set of books that kids should be reading on World Book Day is um, folk tales and fairy tales. So folk tales, this one is Story Story Come by Maimuna, oh sorry, Tanja and illustrated by Olushayo Adetu. Adetu. Ajetu Mobisori. So this is story story come. It's 12 reimagined folk tales from Africa. So of course we know you have in Africa we have different folk tales like the tortoise and the hare and all that good stuff. So this is for folk tales. Another one, books, book set of books children should be reading are fairy tales, like what we have here. So fairy tales, this one is Miles Kelly's fairy tales by the brothers Grimm. So fairy tales like Let's see, which one do we have here? Uh, the Water Nips, Brave Boys, Bold Girls, Little Red, oh, so Brave Boys, Bold Girls. We have books, we have stories like Little Red Riding Hood, we have Tom Thumb, we have the 12 Dancing Princesses. So those kind of stories, fairy tales, yes, children should be reading that on World Book Day. Another set is um, comics and graphic novels. So children should be reading comics like these this one is the misadventures of salem hyde this is actually for girls but if boys like it it's also fine too so the misadventures of salem hyde so this is a comic book so comics have more um pictures and characters and the the words are written in captions like this in word bubbles like this so that's for um, comics then we have this one so disney's planes the graphic novel too so graphic novels are almost like comics but they're not entirely so this is a graphic novel so yes this is it so kids should be reading what comics and graphic novels next i'm moving like this i'm moving from left to right so next we're going to be talking about some classic um, fiction books so we have here any blighting i mean i grew up reading this so i mean kids should continue reading this so we have any blighting the famous five and we have Roald Dahl here 
boy tales of childhood so these are actually chapter books okay these are chapter books for kids for the older kids so if you're a kid or your kids you start reading bigger books you should start off with these kind of books so next on my list is um kids should be reading autobiographies or biographies of very famous or very important people whether they're still alive or they have passed on so this one is the extraordinary life of Anne Frank and of course we know the story of Anne Frank it's the story of a Jewish girl who carried a voice of hope she wrote a diary during the time of the second world war unfortunately she passed away so yes children should read something like this and here you can see it's short it's not too lengthy and it has some really interesting um pictures too um, so yeah so that is for the extraordinary life of Anne frank and we have here mahatma gandhi of course children should read about mahatma gandhi and this is the story of a man whose voice influenced the world so mahatma gandhi was in india he grew up in india and all of that good stuff so if you want it i can look for it the next set of books I'm going to be talking about that children should be reading on World on World Book Day is fantasy. And what better set of fantasy than I mean Harry Potter should be is always on the top list. So Harry Potter is number one for me for fantasy books. So fantasy is basically books about magic, supernatural, all that good stuff. So Harry Potter and this particular one is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So another one on the fantasy um, collection that I would also recommend is Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters. So if you've watched the movie, you can also read the book too. So these are also chapter books for much older children. You should also, kids should also read these too for World Book Day. Another set of books I'm moving up. I should have tired like up, down, but let's continue. Another set of books that kids should be reading on World Book Day are the classics. Classic being stories that from now till, I don't know, those stories will never, children won't, I mean, they won't stop selling these books and children won't stop reading them. So stories like Black Beauty, stories like um, Wind in the Willows, stories like The Secret Garden. Um, these are books, these are classics and these are... Um, what's the name? Hansel and Gretel, even though that can also be classified under fairy tale too, but those are classics that children should be reading. Heidi, yeah, so those are classics children should be reading. I'm going to be moving. So the next set is Dr. Seuss. Children should be reading Dr. Seuss on World Book Day. And of course, this is the popular Dr. Seuss, The Cat in the Hat. So if you've watched the movie, The Cat in the Hat, this is the book, The Cat in the Hat. And of course, for World Book Day, a lot of children um, even dress up as Dr. Seuss's Cat in the Hat. So uh, children should be reading about Dr. Seuss. So now I've been talking about chapter books for much older children. I'd like to go to, I should have actually started from the very, from the young ones. So picture books before they move into chapter books children should have picture books picture books are books that have more of illustrations and less um less text or words so it helps children understand the story and even helps with reading too so this is also the popular charlie and lola children should be reading about charlie and lola so if you watch cb if you watch charlie and lola on cbb's yes this is also the book. They have different Charlie and Lola um, stories. So, of course, Charlie and Lola goes like this. So this is it for younger children. So this is Charlie and Lola. Another picture book for um, younger children is Julia Donaldson. This is another very, very popular author who writes very interesting stories for children and this one is the princess and the wizard she has lots of other books like zog um the tallest oh, um i don't remember 
the Gruffalo, the Gruffalo's child. Yes, so that is the kind of books Julia Donaldson likes to write. So this here, like you said, picture books has more pictures. It's very colorful too. And you can see less text too. So more of the illustration, less of the text. So another picture book that children should be reading, especially for younger children, Peppa Pig. <laughs> so yes, Peppa Pig is also a very popular um, character for kids. So of course they watch Peppa Pig. So if they watch Peppa Pig, they should also read about Peppa Pig. So this is actually the story of Peppa Pig. So who doesn't love Peppa Pig? The nice pink pig. So this is Peppa, Peppa Pig. And this also has um, more illustrations. And another thing with picture books, less text. And even if the text you see, they're usually very bold. So you can see here, let me say, scrunch, 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 scrunch. So this is Peppa. And that's it. And the last one, which should actually have been the first one, is board books. So this board books will be from zero, that is when they are born, till probably age two, depending. So board books, why do we say, why do I say board books? Because they are made from hard um, pattern and children of that or babies or toddlers from that age range don't will not be able to tear or rip or destroy the books so they can toss it they can do whatever it is and the book still stands so this particular board book is the animal's tonic and this is a touch and feel because at that age they are exploring and all the like so here we have something here in the turnip that kids can actually feel the texture of somewhat feel like this is the texture of a turnip so you see this is another one the texture of the rain so board books are perfect especially touch and feel board books are perfect from ages zero to two this is another board book the little bear but this one is about nature and as you can see it's very durable very very durable so yes that's it so yes i am done with my list and um, let me know in the comment section if there are other interesting or other books children should be reading but regardless let me just put it out here children should be reading all sorts of books whether it's non-fiction whether it's comics or um, classics or fantasy children should be allowed to read for fun and that's it that's where I'm going to stop right here so I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to also share this video to somebody who might need it. And don't forget to, you know, type in your words in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Yes, and happy World Book Day once again. Bye.